everybody. Welcome back to Rocky Mountain Homestead. Today I'm going to take you guys along and share with you a delicious homemade guacamole recipe. You will absolutely love this. For this recipe, you will need six soft but not mushy avocados, a little bunch of cilantro. I use about a quarter of a bunch, half of a red onion, one jalapeno, which is optional, one medium tomato, one lime, four cloves of garlic, and salt to your liking. You can adjust it according to your taste and your preferences. Now let's get started. The first thing you want to do is cut your avocados in half and remove the pits. have sliced your avocados and removed the pits, you are going to spoon them out from the peels into a mixing bowl. Next, you are going to want to mince up your four cloves of garlic. Once you have your garlic minced up, go ahead and add it into your mixing bowl with your avocado. Next, you are going to take your lime and slice it in half and squeeze it. into the mixture. You are then going to take the back of a spoon or a fork and just mash up, mash together the ingredients until you get it to the consistency you want. Some people like to have it a little bit on the chunky side. Some people like it smooth and creamy, so that's completely up to you. You can also use a potato masher at this time. Once you get it to the desired consistency you like it, you're going to take your half of an onion, I like to use a red onion, and your medium tomato, and you're going to go ahead and dice these up. Once you have your tomato and your onion diced up, go ahead and drop it in to the mix. You now want to carefully fold this into the mixture. Once you've folded that in at this time, you are going to add your salt, once again, according to the taste and how you like it. At this time, this is when you will add your chopped cilantro and your jalapeno pepper, if that is something you wish to add to this. You're gonna go ahead and mix that in. This guacamole recipe is sure to please. It is a crowd pleaser. It's absolutely delicious. Super simple to throw together. It's a perfect mix of flavors. I hope you guys give this a try. If you do, leave some feedback down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Um, like the video and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Until then, take care and God bless.